wolf, ice, moon, and cancer. January's full wolf ice moon reaches peak illumination on Friday, January 6th at 6.09 p.m. Eastern Central Time. The full moon on January 6th has illumination of 100%. Cancer full moon during winter and it tends to be the loneliness is even more intense than the full moon of the year. The six month cycle of this Cancer moon began back with the new moon in Cancer over the summer, just after the solstice, and now we're freshly coming out of the winter solstice, highlighting big milestones as well as milestones we've yet to reach. Cancer is also a water sign, making this a particularly emotional moon. As the Pennington puts it, we will all get wet, with some of us getting drenched. Couple that with the fact that Mercury and Mars are both retrograde, and things could feel frustrating, stagnant, right now. The good news is, those retrogrades are encouraging us to slow down and take stock. It may be a new year according to our calendars, but this full moon reminds us that if the energy isn't right to make advances, we don't need to force anything. Rather, watery and sensitive cancer wants us to tune into our emotions, so when we do feel ready to move forward, will have more clarity. Cancer full moon will indeed feel extra intense to that end. They say it represents the water of the womb and so water rituals would be fitting way to embody this energy. Take a bubble bath, honor the woman in your life, and most importantly, nourish yourself. Bubble baths. You could take it a step further and use your bath to connect with the water element and the moon even further. Connect with the lunar energy by submerging yourself in water. Draw a healing bath around the time of the full moon and gather your favorite salts, crystals, and candles. January's full moon, also known as the wolf moon, is a great time to hang out with your own wolf pack and let out a collective howl. Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr